a year ago this Friday, the town of Raynell looked like this. Flood recovery groups are still rebuilding till this day. ASP's initial commitment after the flood happened was to be here uh, doing disaster relief, disaster recovery work, uh, new home construction for two years. Homes covered in mud, water almost up to the ceiling. It left many people scrambling, including an 81-year-old woman who lost everything. It's been a long, a long year, I know that. Um, it was a, I don't know how to explain it. It's just been hard. It wasn't until May 4th Mamie moved back into her home after living in a FEMA trailer for nine straight months. It was all right, but it wasn't home. I uh, walk over here every day, see how much work he'd been doing on my house. I finally got in. It's, it's real nice. I thank every one of them people. One man who has had his business in Raynell for 41 years drew a line on the wall that day to remember how high up the water was. And he said the shop still has not been recovered just yet. We've tried to get most of the fast moving items back in and, and we're still in the process of getting our inventory straightened out. But, you know, we're coming along. So, Like I say, a lot of people had it worse than we did. There are still many homes just like this one behind me that remain vacant due to the floods of last year. But even a year later, that is not stopping the people of Raynell from being optimistic about the recovery of their small town. We just gotta be patient and, cour and courageous and keep moving, but I think people feel good about the future, about Raynell. In Raynell, I'm Ashley Cafaro reporting for Newswatch.